Well, now let's unravel the mystery of judging in dance sport. Each dance sport competition is adjudicated by a panel of seven or more judges. Judging of a couple begins when they adopt their dancing position and ends as the music stops. Judges amend marks during the entire dance. They look for a strong technique. Timing and basic rhythm takes precedence over the other fields of adjudication. Dancing in rhythm implies the performance of a step within the time allocated to it and the correct timing relationship between the steps. Posture and correct technique. Rotation of the body, known as sway. This helps couples get round corners. Correct use of feet, expression and control of foot movements. Rise and fall determines the character of dance. Body lines relating to the couple as a whole. Presentation embodies the following. Musical interpretation. The shaping and character of each dance. Considerate use of the dance floor. Style and originality of movement and choreography. Places are awarded from one to six for each dance, and the couple which is the highest total of first placements are the winners of the competition. So to the semi-finals in Barcelona. Twelve couples, six to qualify for the final. This is the Samba. Here we see Michael and Biara again. Samba is a very good dance for them because of the incredible body speed. Very good action here. Number 21, Alan Grundy and Lisa Palmer for England. They're really coming, doing well now. They've really improved a lot. They haven't danced too long together. Really coming out for themselves. Here we see you saying Katya again. Typical, you see, dancing mood. Very strong upper body, stillness of the upper body. A lot of thickness, hip. You see dancing really well here. Moving, and you can see you're really enjoying yourself. A lot of confidence. Alan Grundy and Lisa Palmer from England, they've been together just a year. Does it take a long time to get a partnership really working? It does, and it's surprising to see them just dancing one year together and still dancing the way they do here. Very good back rocks here. Same order as in the quarterfinals, so the second dance, the cha-cha-cha. Germany, Karsten Kraus and Petra Vazakovsky. Karsten, a dental technician, Petra, a physiotherapist. They've been together since June 94. <laughs> Thomas Hozek and Brigitte Fustorova from the Czech Republic. And from Slovenia, couple number 28, Maita Krajša and Jajna Kozelj. Maita recovered from a serious motorcycle accident at 16 to become one of Slovenia's best lad in dances. His ambition to compete at the Olympics. Fitness obviously very important, but... Very, very important. Because of uh, the need of very strong body to keep doing this, and also the stamina is very, very important. So they don't only dance, they run, they go to the gym every day, work out very hard. Ah, hey. 
Here you have uh, Karsten and Peter. His bays are getting a little bit big, which means the step size is getting too big. Therefore, his tendency to look a little heavy here, and therefore the timing is suffering. So the end of the cha-cha. Now to dance number three, the rumba. Couple number 26, Nela Skatinas and Anita Poch from Germany. Biad again, still dancing, very, very good, very good choreography here, well danced together. English couple, Grundy and Palmer, most of the top nations from Europe? Yes, they are. Mainly England, Germany, Norway, Denmark. But you're getting a stronger couple from Japan, China, a lot of good Russian couples coming up. Rumba and the Swiss champions in 1996 and 97 dancing one of their favorite dances. We're here to see Hubert and Nicole. Hubert from Poland, Nicole from Switzerland, now dancing for Switzerland. Very, also, very talented couple. Girl, very feminine. The male, very artistic. He'd be a little bit more full in his body meaning using the timing in his body a little bit better. But a couple will be up there. Matja and Yashna here. Beautiful rumba. Sometimes Matja can look a little bit laid back because of his body timing. Complete change of pace. The Pasadobli. This is heat one. Paso is actually a marching dance in a 2 4 timing, which you can see here. Lisa Palmer. Now, Alan loves dancing, but uh, when we asked him what he'd hate to do most, he said, work as a funeral director. It's typical, Alan. If you know him well, you understand. He's a very outgoing person, which you also can see in his dancing. 
Now, heat two of the Paso Doble. Talk now about costumes. They wear the same costumes for each dance. Some costumes better suited for a particular dance, though. That's true. I think, yes, some of them find out which is the strongest dance, and they try them to make a dress that fit the character of this dance. Now we can hear the very strong Spanish influence in the music, which then again reflect very strongly into the dancing. Do the competitors project towards the judges specifically? They shouldn't actually, because uh, they wouldn't have time, because they should be so concentrated on what the partner does and what they do together. stakes here. Fabulous dance by all of the couples. Now on to the jive and the South Africans, Michael and Beata, who consistently dance well throughout this event. Well, you can see Beata really enjoying herself, which is great face expression, which comes up from his natural body action. Great. Shall I must want it short? Let me take that job once more. Boys, take right on down to the gate. Oh, boys, gotta take a side elevator. Can't you hear those hip cats call? Come on, boys. From Norway, Andreas Dale and Michelle Lindo, Norwegian champions for the last three years and fourth in the World Championships in dance in 97. <laughs> Makes you nine foot tall when you're four foot five. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Now don't you be that ikaroo. Get hip, come on. The couples were asked what were their favorite dances, and I'm just replied, jive. The reason? We never practiced it. Jump, jump, get us through. Jim, jump, jump, it's jump and jive. Makes you like your eggs on the jersey side. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. So the end of the jive, the end of the semi-finals. Now we're going to find out more about the Paso Doble. Paso Doble, it's a dance. Paso Doble? I know it's a dance. The Paso Doble was first seen in Europe in the 1930s. It became popular as a ballroom dance in the Spanish quarter of Paris. Known as a two-step, double pas, referring to the marching nature of the steps, its influence dates back to the French March of the Infantry. It was later danced as a social folk dance in southern France and Spain, where it became influenced by the bullfight. Bullfighting? Yeah. Oh, that would be good. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
The dance portrays the matador and his cape, and is inspired by and danced to the characteristic music used for the procession at the beginning of a corrida. It's developed along the basis of the lines and movements a man makes with his body as he acts the part of a bullfighter and uses his cape to create shapes. In a bullfight, surprising turns occur, and in the dance too, many quick changes are incorporated. Yes, 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 yes. Once I don't play right, that's one of the moves in the bullfight. The competition version of the Pasadobli is danced with a high chest, the shoulders wide and down, and a strong flamenco influence has developed during recent years. <laughs> I don't know how to do this so Can where you show are you me? From? The arrogance and aggression earlier inherent in the dance has evolved over time to produce a Paso Doble for the modern age. The Paso Doble isn't a dance, you just dance. You have to live it. Watch your Strictly Ballroom. They'll tell you what it is. In spite of the abruptness of each step, there was a continuity of grace which constitutes art. So to the final, six couples and those are the six who've made it through from Slovenia, Germany, Switzerland, Russia, Finland and South Africa. So now a brief introduction to the crowd for each of the six finalists, starting with the Slovenians, Mata Krajca and Jasna Kozel. Sikas de Juan Karstan Kraus y Petra Wasikowski. And the introduction for the Germans, Karsten Kraus and Petra Wasikowski. Lubea Piajalo and Nicole Hansen from Switzerland. Dimitri Timokin and Anna Besikova. From Russia, Dmitry Timokin and Anna Besikova. Juicy Bananen and Kaja Kokula. Juicy Vananan and Katja Kukala from Finland. Never know how much I care. When you put your arms around me, I get the fever that's so hard to fear. You give the fever. Michael Wendy Ibeata Onepater. 
that last to go from South Africa, Michael Ventink and Beata Onifata. Never know how much I care. So to the final, we start with the samba. And in the samba, each couple will take the floor together, but without the other couples. First off, Marta Krajcia and Jasna Kozelj from Slovenia. A new concept here, this competition, these dancers together, but without the other competitors. And it's something that Jasna was really hoping for and now she's had her dream realized. I think it's great opportunities for the couple to show themselves one on one at the floor and also a great thing for the audience to see. Next to go, the eye-catching Germans, Karsten Kraus and Petra Vazakovsky. Karsten and Petra dancing really well here. I think it's to do with this great atmosphere in this hall and all this audience and everything else. They're really going well here. From Switzerland, Uber Piacciallo, who was born in Poland, and Nicole Hansen, Swiss Latin champions in 96 and 97. This dance, the judges will look for a good timing, body timing, and also a very good foot timing, which you can see in this couple. Fourth to go in our final six, Dmitry Timokin and Anna Bezikova from Russia. All the Russians are trained in ballet many, many years before they go into the Latin field, which you can see here, very strong technique, very short pace, very good. Fifth to go, from Finland, you'll see Vananen and Katja Kukula. Finland has come to be a very strong dancing nation in the last few years. These guys are heroes in their own country. And last to go from South Africa, Michael Ventink 
and Beata Odefata. What a fabulous dress. Guess who made it? Her partner, Michael. And he even sometimes cut her hair. Fabulous Michael Bentinck and Beata Onifata from South Africa. Now the places for the final of the Samba. The dancers are placed from one to six according to presentation and technical merit. Michael and Beata, as you can see, have placed first in both technical and presentation. You'll see Ankachi from Finland as second. <laughs> And now to the cha-cha-cha. And in the cha-cha-cha, all the couples are out there for the final. This is a very strong final here. The judges could have a hard time finding out who has the best package deal tonight. And at the end of the cha-cha, the judges will have to place the couples between one and six. finish from uh, Michael Bentinck and Beata Onifata, the end of the cha-cha. And again, Michael and Beata clearly in first place. The Finnish couple second, the Slovenians very close with three second placings for the cha-cha-cha. On to dance number three in the final. Again, all the couples out there for the rumba. Oh, look at this beautiful dancing, fabulous expression. Doesn't that say it all? The rumba. Dance number three of the five Latin dances in this final. And the results? Well, after a strong performance in the rumba, 
the Slovenian couple have been awarded three second places and move closer to the Finns in second position. The Russian couple are in fourth, Germany a fifth, and Switzerland sixth. Dance number four, the Passa Doble. Al Pas Doble. strong flamenco influence here. Yeah, you can see it very strong in the couples here now. The adrenaline is pumping, full of energy, very strong dancing. It's like we said before, this dance had to be lived, not just danced. And that adrenaline you were talking about, counteracting any tiredness that might be creeping in. Absolutely. You see Beata had beautiful feet and ankle. It's like she's born with his shoes on. The Passa Doble. So just one dance to go, the jive. Michael and Beata from South Africa place first with all the judges for the Paso, but it's close for second place between the Finns and the Slovenians. The climax of the evening, the jive. Couples out there on their own this time and starting in reverse order. So the first we see, the leaders, Michael Ventink and Beata Onifata from South Africa. Follow that, we'll hear the Finns lying in second place, Jussi Vanenen and Katja Kukala. And when you look at the character and projection here, bear in mind that these dancers have been competing all day. In fact, this is the 20th dance in all of the competition. Next to go, lying in fourth place, hoping for a place on the podium from Russia, Dmitry Timokin and Anna Bezikova.
next from Switzerland in sixth place, Hubert Piacciallo and Nicole Hansen. Place above them, Karsten Krauss and Petra Vazakowski from Germany. dance of the evening from the Slovenians in third place, Marta Kreischer and Jasna Kozel. The end of the entertainment for the evening, but now the critical marks, the uh, technical marks for the jive, still consistent with the other dances. But looking at the presentation, Slovenians looking very strong and in close contention for second place in the final standings. But in the end, it's third place for Marta Kreischer and Jasna Kozelj from Slovenia. I think very well danced today and should be very happy with that result. Second place to the Finns, Jussi Vaninen and Katja Kukola. Another very strong performance from this couple and also a good result for them. And the winners, top of the podium. And comprehensive winners too, Michael Venting and Beata Onifata from South Africa. Well, unbeatable performance tonight. Fantastic. First place in every single dance and comprehensive winners of the Open Freshenet Bel Latino. There's confirmation. The Swiss sixth, the Germans fifth, the Russians fourth, third Slovenians, second the Finns, and the winners, Ventink and Onifata. Well, I think the competition was really good because the audience were really great, so you dance totally different because its atmosphere was fabulous, so it was really nice. Well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If it was your first look at dance sport, from myself, Simon Reed, and from Johan Efterdal, goodbye for now. Thank you.